So in the pacemaker implant, we have to do several measurements. One is the threshold measurements. So we connection of the leads to the pacing system analyzer, so called the PSA. We use the clips to connect the leads to the PSA during implantation. And the intraoperative value for threshold is suggested as below. So for the atrium, it should be less than 1.5 volt jet implant. For ventricular lead, it's much better if it's less than 1 volt. For the pacing impedance, it's 300 to 1,500, 1, depending on the lead type. For the sensing threshold for the atrium, it's at least more than 2 millivolts. For the ventricle, it's at least more than 5 volts to have a satisfactory sensing. Chronically, for pacing threshold, the atrium and the ventricle should be less than 2.5 volts. And for the sensing, the atrial sensing should be more than 2, and the ventricular sensing should be more than 5. So, it's really important to connect properly of the leads to the pacemaker, and you have to screw it tightly. The screw should be put perpendicular to the pacemaker and screw the lead tightly to the generator. And it's also important to pay the pacemaker inside the pocket with the excess lead length behind the pacemaker, so that in times when you need to reopen the wound or replace the pacemaker, you won't damage the leads.